Last week, Republicans and some who purport to be on the left were claiming that Venezuelan gangs in Aurora were taking over entire apartment complexes. But after that BS hoax was debunked, well, right-wingers immediately latched onto a new xenophobic conspiracy theory to scare you into thinking that you should be very, very worried about Haitian migrants, specifically because they want to kidnap your pets and eat them. Yeah, that's that's the new claim. J.D. Vance, for example, tweeted months ago, I raise the issue of Haitian illegal immigrants draining social services and generally causing chaos all over Springfield, Ohio. Reports now show that people have had their pets abducted and eaten by people who shouldn't be in this country. Where is our borders are? Referring to Kamala Harris, of course. Now, you'll see in a moment that there's absolutely no evidence for this, but Vance wasn't the only one to spread this conspiracy theory. He's just the most prominent Republican to spread this conspiracy theory. There were others. Republican Representative Mike Collins tweeted without evidence, they're in the park grabbing up ducks by the neck and eating them. Okay. Elon Musk then shared an AI image of Trump saving a duck and a kitten that was literally tweeted by the Republicans on the House Judiciary Committee. Very, very serious party, folks. And then we have this one from Miles Ian Chong, who's not even an American, by the way, who tweeted out an extremely racist image that's AI generated of two Haitian immigrants chasing Trump who's running away with kittens because, of course, Trump is the hero who's trying to protect your pets from these scary Haitians. Now, the reason why they have all these AI generated images is because this isn't happening so they have to fabricate it charlie kirk shared two images one with the headline that reads biden floods ohio town with twenty thousand haitian migrants and another with a viral facebook post from somebody who says that her neighbor told her that a haitian in the neighborhood abducted her cat to eat it and that this was happening to dogs too apparently now charlie kirk added that this was another gift of the biden harris mass immigration replacement plan trying to loop in the white supremacist great replacement conspiracy theory as well he adds liberals will soon be lecturing americans on why they need to be sensitive to haitian culture and accept this as the new normal those idiots deserve to be condemned and mocked mercilessly save our pets secure our borders white supremacist stephen miller joined in adding we've reached the point in common Kamala's migrant invasion, where the migrants are stealing and eating Americans' pets. And idiot Ted Cruz tweeted out an image of two cats with the caption, please vote for Trump so Haitian immigrants don't eat us. There's more, but you get the point. This is honestly exhausting to me. Um, you know, if you're genuinely that concerned about people who eat dogs, then why are you cool with RFK Jr. endorsing Donald Trump, who allegedly ate a dog? Don't you have a problem with him? Uh, why are you cool with Christy Nome? Christy Nome shot her pet dog and then she shot her pet goat. I feel like they're more of a threat to pets than any immigrant in the country. But of course, the goal here is to scare you into thinking that these black immigrants are savages who have no regard for American culture and customs and they've brought their barbarism into our pure white country and we have to reject that. You know, aside from this being extremely fucked up and dehumanizing and obviously extremely racist, none of it is true obviously. First of all, Haitian people don't eat dogs and cats. They basically eat the same kind of meats that Americans eat. Chicken, pork, goat, lamb, shrimp, crab, etc. And guess what? They also, you're going to be shocked by this, have pets in Haiti. Cats, dogs. Shocking, I know. And the picture that they were circulating of the guy holding geese is weird because, I mean, if that's evidence that they're savages, Americans go duck and goose hunting all the time. So are Americans also savages or does that moniker only apply to people with melanin? Not to mention, we have no idea if that guy in that photograph is even Haitian or if he lives in Ohio, since the entire conspiracy is based on fiction in the first place. Now, I shouldn't say it's entirely based on fiction because I will grant them that one cat was indeed eaten, and that's obviously really sad, but that's the kernel of truth that they're basing this entire conspiracy theory on. The problem is that the cat wasn't eaten by... An immigrant. It was eaten by somebody who was seemingly mentally unwell, but happens to be an American citizen. Wasn't a Haitian migrant, but they're trying to scapegoat Haitian migrants 
because, uh, well, take a guess. Now, as the New Republic reports, right-wingers seem to have conflated a report from Canton, Ohio, of a woman who was arrested for allegedly killing and eating a cat with complaints from residents in Springfield, more than 170 miles away from Canton. The woman is a U.S. citizen, and there is no indication she is a Haitian immigrant. Meanwhile, police in Springfield say they have received no reports of pets being stolen and eaten, according to the Springfield News Sun. The newspaper says that the rumor began began from a local Facebook group where a poster claimed that her neighbor's daughter's friend lost her pet cat and found it hanging from a tree branch at a Haitian neighbor's home to be carved and eaten. The post cited with no evidence that rangers and police said that they have been doing it at a local park with ducks and geese, according to the newspaper. But these reports do not appear to have reached the right, who are not only spreading the rumor but using it to promote anti-immigrant policies and make racist attacks. Of course, but I mean, you know, somebody on Facebook said it, so it must be true because there's a lot of truth coming from Facebook these days, right? I just, I don't understand why their standard for evidence is so laughably low. Literally any one of us can make up whatever bullshit claim we want on Facebook. Something going viral doesn't automatically make it true. And it's not evidence, right? A Facebook post making a claim is not evidence. You need more than that in order for a story to be true. I see a lot of crazy shit on Facebook, a lot of it coming from my own family, and I can guarantee you they have no evidence for the bullshit that they're espousing, so you shouldn't just take a viral post at face value because that's not what evidence is. Now, the reason why Republicans are obviously trying to pawn this off on Haitian immigrants is because, well, first and foremost, anytime they have the opportunity to link something bad to immigrants, they're going to do that because they're opportunists. But they're claiming that Haitian immigrants are responsible for the original lady eating the cat because that lady is black. And people are implying that she's a Haitian immigrant, but that's not true. In fact, people found out that she's actually registered to vote in Ohio, which confirms that she's a citizen. And any normal human being would see that story and react with disgust and sadness. And I genuinely feel bad for the cat because I love cats. But it's clear that the woman has severe mental health issues that haven't been addressed. But conservatives took that story and rather than feeling sadness, they tried to turn it into a conspiracy theory to dehumanize immigrants who have nothing to do with that story. It is extremely fucked up. Haitian immigrants, like all of us, are human beings, and they are trying to live their best lives and pursue happiness and stability just like the rest of us. And they're minding their own business, and they're still getting demonized by racist Americans who think that they're barbarians who shouldn't be in an hour, pure white culture. It's despicable. It's so gross. They're just like us. They're human beings. Why are we treating them as if they're savages? The only antiquated thing that's happening here is the xenophobia coming from Americans. That's antiquated. That is something that you would expect from barbarians. And listen, like all immigrants, they're just trying to live their life. But Republicans want to dehumanize them and fearmonger about crime that they're bringing into the country because they're just fucking racist, full stop. Immigrants, both documented and undocumented, are statistically far less likely to commit crime than citizens, which makes a lot of sense because... If they commit crime, they have so much more to lose than the rest of us. They could lose everything. But anytime there's one anecdote of a single immigrant doing something bad, the right will blow it up as they did the story in Aurora and make it seem as if it's representative of the entire immigrant community that they're talking about. But it's the oldest trick in the book and you shouldn't fall for it. Most immigrants are good people. I mean, no community is a monolith, but immigrants by and large are hardworking good people. And I would much prefer to share a country with them than the fascist Republicans who are demonizing them nonstop. Like everywhere there's glow, mama. you see them all the time. I mean, it's constant. Mama. My children are like, mama, glow, 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 glow. I turn on mama. TV, there's glow in the background. Every TV show, news media, why? Glow, 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 gl